Welcome back to my garage. Tonight we are um, going to make a um, truing stand so that I can check if uh, or how badly I have um, pushed this uh, crankshaft uh, out of alignment. The balance factor after uh, welding in the slugs and um, by using a more accurate scale has ended up at uh, 58%. So that's uh, close enough for me to the 60% I wanted. So, yeah, golden. Let's get started. Okay, so here's the setup we're going for. Um, it's uh, a crank truing stand in its most basic form. And I'm going to make it from... I'm going to use a better pen. I'm going to make it from just... A uh, short section of uh, square tubing, thick walled square tubing, uh, two more sections of square tubing, and then I'm going to cut the top of uh, these two sections in uh, 45 degrees and make uh, a V like this on the inside of both both of them. One side I will make uh, adjustable with a flat bar and two screws and a slot in the bar. That's because uh, my crank has two different uh, diameters on each side. So one side has to be slightly taller. I will make sure to have room for the indicator mount here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And that's 47 millimeters. I'll write that down on my very nice drawing here. That's about it for plants. Let's go. So I'll just mark up my cuts like that. And it's not critical that it's uh, all squared up and perfect. It doesn't make a difference if there's a slight misalignment between these two, as long as they stay, uh, as long as it's uh, rigid and doesn't move uh, relative to the indicator, you get good readings. Yep, I'll mark up this one too, and uh, we'll start cutting. So that's the main pieces done, now I just have to make the adjustable piece here so that I can align it when it's up there because of the different diameters. Or I could just, just shim this before I weld it in place. Hmm. Might just do that because I'm only going to use this jig for this crank. Okay, so to make this... Um as level as possible, uh, I think I will weld one of the sides first 
this side first uh, and then I'll mount the dial indicator and I'll uh, uh, kind of dial in the shimming while moving the crank uh, sideways and when uh, it doesn't when it's perfectly flat or level uh, I will weld it and it will move and I will have to use a file and fine-tune it of course <laughs> so I'll weld that piece in and we we'll start uh, we will start dialing in this piece okay so I welded this piece to the bar um, now I'm um, trying out shims and uh, to see if it uh, if the reading is different when I move the crank to, from side to side and it doesn't seem to make any difference at all um, <laughs> that's just luck that's the first shim I tried which uh, seemed to make it uh, level so Okay, I'll just use uh, this thickness of material to weld that piece in place and we should be golden. So here's the finished product. Uh, not eye candy, uh, maybe more uh, eye broccoli, but uh, and I like broccoli so uh, it's okay for me. Uh, but it seems to work um, and I immediately found uh, a little bit of uh, um, uh, uh, the webs are kind of uh, squeezed together opposite of the crank pin um, that can happen uh, fairly easy so uh, you can see here that it's uh, um, four tenths of a millimeter no four hundredths of a millimeter um, uh, cooked this way. Uh, it's a cooked, icky cooked, cooked <laughs> this way because it's higher there because the crank is uh, standing like this. And as I turn it, you can see it's at its lowest on the opposite side. So uh, the crank is a little bit, uh, sp the cheeks are spread, <laughs> the cheeks are a little bit spread. So I have to clamp it a little bit here. That seems to be it. So uh, thanks for watching um, uh, and please subscribe. <laughs> uh, uh, the next video will uh, probably be about the reassembly of the engine or uh, maybe about the right angle porting tool. Um, um, uh, I, there's a few other ideas I've, uh, that has come up for uh, different kinds of uh, cheap and simple porting tools so uh, uh, I'll just I want to include all my ideas in that video and I want to uh, have made I want I want to I want to have some prototypes or uh, <laughs> proof of concepts uh, ready uh, so um, yeah stay tuned okay thanks for watching